Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am so excited to share with you a ridiculously easy sewing tutorial. I'm showing you how to make a DIY pinafore dress with a detachable bib. The best thing about this pinafore dress is that it's a two-in-one. On days when you feel like it, you can just have it as a skirt. On days when you feel like you want to jazz it up a little bit and make it cuter, then you can put the bib on and boom, you got a pinafore dress. So in this sewing tutorial, the skirt that I'm using is a half circle skirt that I made and shared in a half circle skirt tutorial a couple of weeks back. It's a super easy tutorial as well. There's no pattern needed. You can make it in any sizes and and in any length. So I'll add a link to that tutorial in the description box in case you want to check it out. You can start with the skirt that you've made in the past. It does not have to be a half circle skirt, but it has to be a skirt with a close fitted waist for the silhouette to work. Another idea is to get a maxi skirt from a thrift store that fits you and chop it off so that it's knee length or a little mini and use the fabric from the bottom of the skirt to sew your detachable bib. This pinafore dress is part of the bigger sewing project that I'm working on at the moment which is making my autumn winter capsule wardrobe. If you want to be updated on the progress of my autumn winter capsule and if you love easy vintage inspired sewing tutorials like this one then don't forget to click like on the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my videos. So let's get to the tutorial and don't forget to stay to the end where I'll be sharing a few more tips on making different design variations to this pinafore dress to make a dress and a style that's uniquely yours. We're going to start by taking some measurements for the bib piece. Start with a quarter inch wide elastic and tie it around your body where you would like the top edge of the bib to be. For me, I wanted the top edge of the bib to be right above my breasts and somewhere a few inches below my armpit. The bib pattern piece will look like this and we're going to start with taking measurements for the bottom of the length of the bib. And now using a couple of sewing pins and a measuring tape, mark out the point that's 2.5 inches from the side seams of the skirt on the front of the waistband. Be careful and don't stab yourself by mistake. Next, measure the distance between the two pins and you get the length of the bottom edge of your bib. The final value of the length of the bottom of the bib pattern piece will be the length that you just got plus 0.75 inches for seam allowance. And next, we're gonna take measurements for the height of the bib pattern piece. Place your measuring tape next to the sewing pin and measure the distance between the bottom of the waistband of the skirt to the elastic tie. Your measuring tape should also be going across your breasts so that the height of your bust is captured in this measurement. The final value of the height for the bib pattern piece will be the height that you've just got plus 0.75 inches for seam allowance. Now let's talk a little bit about the strap pattern piece. The width of the strap pattern piece is 2 inches and with the seam allowance of 3 eighths of an inch that we're using in this tutorial, the final measurement of the strap after sewing becomes 1.25 inches. If you would like a slightly narrower or wider strap piece, then you can adjust this number accordingly. And now we're going to measure the length of the strap pattern piece. Start by placing pins on the back of the waistband of the skirt, 2.5 inches from the side seams just like before. We're going to use the measuring tape to mimic the placement of the straps to get the length of the straps. Start by placing the beginning of the measuring tape on the elastic, then run the measuring tape over your shoulders, down your back, and all the way to the bottom of the waistband of the skirt where your pin is. If you would like to have the straps crossed on your back for a different look, then take the measurement of this as well. Place the start of your measuring tape on one side of the body and the end of the measuring tape on the other side of the body. The measurement I got for this was about 24 and a half inches. I know this part is a little tricky, so if you have a friend who could help you reach the back of your skirt, then that's great. You don't want to hunch or overextend your back while taking this measurement because then your value is going to end up being inaccurate. 
The final value of the length of the strap pattern piece would be the length that you've just got plus half an inch for a little bit of allowance for error in measurement and 0.75 inches for seam allowance. So in summary, these are the dimensions for the bib and the strap pattern. And with my measurements, these are the values that I got for my final pattern pieces. And now we're going to move on to getting our supplies ready for cutting the fabric and sewing the detachable bib for our DIY pinafore dress. To make the detachable bib for your DIY pinafore dress, you need the fabric of your choice, fabric scissors, sewing needles for hand sewing, thread, tailor's chalk, measuring tape, straight ruler, four snap buttons, and two regular buttons of about 5 eighths of an inch wide. The fabric that I'm using is the remnant piece of the thrifted bed sheet, which is the same fabric that I used to make my half circle skirt. To cut the pattern pieces out, you can either draft a paper pattern first with the dimensions that you've got, or simply draw directly onto the fabric and cut it out in that same manner, which I find a little bit more straightforward for this pattern because it's really just rectangles and something that looks like a square. Yep, the bib pattern piece is actually not a square, so I marked it with an arrow to remind myself which way is up. Cut four pieces of the strap pattern and two pieces of the bib pattern. Now I'm going to go through the steps on how to sew the DIY pinafore dress. Start by placing two strap pieces wrong sides together and sew all along the edges except for one of the short edges. You will end up with one end of the strap that looks like this and one end that is left open like this. Before turning the straps inside out, trim the seam allowance on the short end of the straps that's been sewn. Pay special attention to the sharp corners and cut those corners off as close as you can to the stitches. Using your choice of a turning tool, or in my case, just my fingers, turn the straps inside out. Back stitching at the start and end of the stitch line when sewing the straps wrong size together in the previous step would be very helpful because then your stitches would be less likely to unravel when you're trying to turn the straps inside out at this stage. Using a pin or turning tool, make sure the corners of the straps are turned out nice and sharp. Press the straps flat, turning the seams out, then top stitch all along the straps about 1 8 to a quarter inch from the finished edges. And now we're going to move on to attaching the straps to the bib pieces. Start with one of the bib pieces with the right side facing up. Make a temporary mark about 3 8 of an inch from the sides close to the top edge of the bib piece. And in my case here, I'm using sewing pins to make my mark. Basically, we're marking out the seam allowance on the sides of the bib. This will help us to know where to place the straps exactly on the bib so that after we're done sewing, the long edge of the straps actually align with the sides of the bib. So place the long edge of the straps next to the pin and align the raw edge of the straps along the top edge of the bib. Fold and pin the straps so they don't get in your way of sewing in the next step. Next, place the other bib piece over. Remember to have the two bib pieces right sides facing each other. Sew all along the edges, leaving about 2 inch worth of opening to turn the bib inside out. Check that you haven't sewn the long edge of the straps to the sides of the bib by mistake. And once you're sure that didn't happen, trim the corners of the bib just like you did with the straps. Next, turn the bib inside out, release the straps from the pins, and make sure you've got all four corners of the bib turned out nice and sharp. Then give it a good press with the iron and you can also choose to slip stitch that 2 inch wide opening close. We're really close to finishing our detachable bib and pinafore dress. This is how your bib should look like right now. 
Then top stitch all around the bib. If you have skipped hand sewing the opening shut, the top stitching that you're doing in this step should help to close that opening. Here's how the top stitching looks like on the bib. And next we're going to be sewing the snap buttons. The snap buttons that I'm using in this tutorial are about 3 8 of an inch wide. They are tiny but mighty. They come in two halves, one half that has a protruding end like this and the other half that is smooth and flat like this. Start by sewing basting stitches along the bottom of the bib to mark out where the top edge of the waistband will sit when you have the bib on. The width of my waistband is 1 inch wide, so the distance between the bottom edge of this bib and my row of basting stitches is 1 inch. The first and the fourth snap buttons should be placed about 1 eighth of an inch from the sides of the bib. The second and third should be placed somewhere along the line where, you know, the distance between each snap button is about the same. Also, all snap buttons should be sewn about 1 8 of an inch from the basting stitches. Sew the protruding half of the snap button onto the right side of the bib by hand. Because we want the option of wearing the skirt without the bib, we want to have the flat and smooth half of the snap button on the waistband of the skirt so that it's comfortable for us to wear the skirt still when we're wearing it without the bib. Next, get your skirt ready for sewing. Place a pin about two and a half inches away from the side seams on the front waistband just like we did when we were taking measurements at the start of this tutorial. Then place the right side of the bib onto the wrong side of the skirt waistband. Align the sides of the bib next to the pins and the bottom edge of the bib to the bottom of the waistband. Then mark out where the snap buttons are meant to go on the wrong side of the skirt waistband. I used a super primitive method of really just smooshing the protruding half of the snap button onto the waistband until I see a mark and then mark it more clearly with a pencil. Primitive but super efficient. <laughs> Then sew the other half of the snap buttons onto the wrong side of the front of the skirt waistband by hand. Next, sew your regular buttons onto the wrong side of the back of the skirt waistband 2.5 inches from the side seams. We're really close to the end now, a little bit more awkward hand stretching to the back and a little bit more sewing and we're done. Put the bib onto the skirt and put your pinafore dress on wrong sides out. Place your straps on your back just the way you like it, either straight down or crossed. Then using a tailor's chalk, mark out where you feel that button is because that's where we're going to be sewing the buttonhole. Again, you see me hunching my back a little bit because I'm struggling to find the buttons. Don't do that. Just get a friend to help because we want to make sure that our buttonholes are in the right position. And if you want your straps going straight down, this is how it would look. And you can see me trying to keep my back straighter this time. So the markings on your straps should look like little dots like these. These dots represent the bottom end of each buttonhole. Draw your buttonhole line by extending from the dots away from the end of the strap. Always do a test buttonhole before you actually sew into the garment. And that was the last step to sewing your DIY pinafore dress. Keep watching for some great ideas on how to modify this pinafore dress. And that's how you sew a DIY pinafore dress with a detachable bib. So I hope you found this sewing tutorial easy enough to follow along. I know doing this to put the straps on on the back of the skirt isn't for everyone. So another way to make the detachable bib is to actually have the straps and the bib completely separate. So the straps will not be attached to the bib right here. You will still have to sew the buttons and the buttonholes 
on the back over here but you can um, increase the length of the straps by about an inch and have it attached to the bib right here with another button so you can choose a button that you like and that can also add another design interest to your pinafore dress and if you have kind of sloping shoulders like me, you probably will not like the straps going straight down because they just tend to kind of like fall off the shoulders. So make the design where you actually have the straps crossing the back. And I know every single one of you who's watching this right now is a super creative soul. So here are some ideas on how to modify the design of the bib to get your creative juices flowing. So I made my bib with sharp angular shapes because I knew that I was going to wear it with this floral blouse that I made that's part of the autumn winter capsule and I wanted a contrast in the silhouette and the shapes so my blouse is rounded and soft and the bib being angular and sharp gives a nice contrast in the design you can choose to make your bib with a rounded top edge and you can even make it in a sort of a trapezoid shape where instead of having the bib starting like 2.5 inches away from the side seam, you can reduce that length to maybe about an inch and have the bib starting right here and going up this way, like a, almost like a trapezoid, like, like a trapezoid. And you know what I think will be really cute? I think a heart-shaped bib will be really cute and maybe even add like lace ruffles all around the edge of the heart shape. And pockets. Adding patch pockets to the front of the bib is a great way to make your dress more functional and a lot more fun. You can do a patch pocket in a regular shape or experiment with different shapes as well, like heart shaped, cat shaped, maybe even add an iron on smiley face patch. And last but not least, ruffles. You can even add ruffles all along the side of the straps right here and along the back to add more of a romantic silhouette to your pinafore dress. I actually did this to my Burnside bibs a couple of years back and I'll add the link to that video tutorial um, in the description box as well if that's something that you want to try. Leave a comment and let me know if you're thinking about sewing this for the holiday season. I think this is kind of like my Christmas outfit. Close. <laughs> So I would love to hear about your design ideas and your plan for making this bib um, and I will see you again next week. <laughs> Bye!